Muslims urged by Palestinian scholar to prepare for battle against infidels. On February 8th, Palestinian Islamic scholar Sheikh Yusuf uh, Mach, uh, Mach, uh, Machaza claimed that Islam and fighting are inseparable and called Muslims to fight infidels, quote, before they come here. He claimed that having a good wife or land would make Muslims a target of the infidels who want to, quote, steal your wives or land. Uh, Mahaza added that fear is what keeps the infidels from attacking, and without that, they will come at you. He then said that for this purpose, Allah told the Holy Prophet to quite, excuse me, to fight for the sake of Allah. He then went on a rant about America and stated, quote, if you ask them why they kill these poor, wretched people, they will tell you that this is a preventative war because these people are terrorists. And if we do not go on their turf, their own turf and strike them in their caves before they go stronger, they will come after us. America is allowed for a preemptive war using this argument, he said. Um, Following this line of reasoning, he went on to say that the history lessons about the Arabs being aggressives, aggressors and invaders are false. He alleged that the reason why Arabs invaded Spain was the exact reason why America invaded Afghanistan. I haven't heard from uh, such urges for uh, what uh, you know for a while. This is such a this has been. I don't know. This is it's been a. You know, it's been some time since schol Islamic scholars have made such a such threats. Remember, like ten years ago, we used to see all these things all over the media, like Islamic scholars coming and saying, like, you know, K I L L the infidels, this and that, find them, you know, wherever you know, do this to them, wherever you find them. Prepare for battle. Then, it's yeah, kind of out of vogue nowadays. It's yeah, not, I don't know. It died down. It has died down, hasn't it? For a while, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Too. Or maybe now, it just doesn't get reported on as much. Yeah, this is such a such a nostalgic. It's like back in the good old days. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> no, <laughs> I don't know what. Yeah. It reminds me of the good old days of jihad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So interesting, interesting. I mean, I think maybe the appetite for that kind of like a, a jihadi mindset has been reduced among many uh, Muslims on social media. So maybe because hmm. there's not a market for it, there's less people saying it. You know, I think like we see more people talking about the degeneracy of the West and mm. I don't know, anti-feminist message, anti-LGBT message, the whole idea, you know, you see less of, let's go to jihad kind of social media things. You know, maybe because of, it was because, it's because of ISIS. ISIS <laughs> made it, I think that's what happened. I think ISIS made it so unpopular to, for people to be on social media and ask talking for, about preparing talking about for jihad yeah preparing for think, it was yeah. a, i think was, it left a bad taste in the mouth of like a lot of muslims like ew, this is this is gross this is ew like i don't like that this let's is a little go, scary this is yeah this is like this is too violent let's just talk about let's just talk against lgbt and women rights that seems like you know because you know it's actually a more it's a winning it's a winning propaganda tactic because a lot of conservatives can get behind that. They're like, yeah, they, they're like, ew, ew, look at all these degenerates, you know, when they look at, um, you know, gay people or trans people or, you know, like, you know, and simps and insoles and like, yeah, this is look at the West. The West is gross, right? So <laughs> going and so being against that, people are like, yeah, the West is gross. So that's a narrative that is winning for them and it's making them look good. But the whole jihadi stuff that doesn't make them look good, especially after ISIS anymore. So mm -hmm. I think that's why you see less demand for that and more the anti-degeneracy bandwagon. And you, mm. you see even in, among Westerners, you see the whole red pill movement. Yeah, you yeah, see yeah. that globally there's a demand for this being being against liberal values like that. So that's so even 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 conservatives like like you can see Daniel Hayraju is not going out and like telling people like even though he has his belief that we they have to bring in the caliphate at some point and bring out you know have yeah, yeah, islamic yeah. rule but they don't they don't lean into that anymore they go into showing why liberalism is a failure that's that's the winning propaganda take social media take. that's why that's, this is so unique 
Very true. I remember you were doing a review of Daniel Hikikaju's debates and you, that, that I remember you saying like he doesn't actually make a lot of pro-Islam arguments. It's more about tearing down liberalism. Yes. With like because, the subtext being like, oh, well, obviously Islam should just be like put in its place without like yeah. being explicit as to the reasoning. It, it it has more of a custom, uh, demand for it among Muslims now, that kind of anti-liberal attitude, right? But it mm -hmm. also is a point of unity among con conservatives across yeah. different religions, you know? So it's something that, you know, even, even religious Christians can get behind that, even religious Hindus or Jews, and even conservative atheists can sometimes get behind that. They're like, you know, Muslims have a point, you know? This is why you see, like, right-leaning, far-right people in the West putting posters about Islam is right about women, right? That's the whole point, yeah. right? So, and that's why you see now uh, conservative YouTubers uh, coming out and saying, you know what, maybe Islam has a point. This is why Andrew Tate became Muslim. This yeah. is why, what's the other guy's name? I forgot his other guy. There was a major ex-Muslim YouTuber. Hamza. Hamza, now reconsidering going back to Islam because they mm -hmm. are conservatives and conservatives that like, Islam seems to be the major defender of these these wholesome conservative values so again so this is why we're not seeing stuff like this as much as we used to i think that's a very good point armin i hadn't even thought about it like that neither have i until right now <laughs> <laughs> i just let it fall out of my mouth <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.